yeah, this is the way to Giganto itself. I call it Gigantos. So in Tales of Vesperia, they were called Giganto monsters. So if you that 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 is my explanation. We should take out these mushrooms, but I want to. Yeah, we'll take out the mushrooms. There's a chest here. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. here let's move I'm right behind you Shion we will move can see a bottle so many plant things so many. Do you think? I wonder if they're weak to fire. That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. I did. Hey, you know what helps when you're jumping? To press the right button for jumps. That Zugal, if I were you. We'll uh, we'll do a just a quick safety save here. And uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll just for the just for this fight, we'll uh. Damn, well, that weak, huh? Oh, it's only level fifteen. We don't have much choice. Broken. Oh, I'm stuck. Ow. You know, for this sword to be as strong as it is, it still is taking a bit of time. Oh. Well. Uh. I hope this medicine works as promised. Yeah, I, definitely getting that dodge thing was uh, a good idea. And then I was just like sitting there and took that to hit. 
That still wasn't too too bad though. Everyone's still in one piece. And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? Was that equipment? It was. Uh oh. All right. Well, we're gonna just put that back. Oh, uh, I will put on this though. There we, <laughs> there we go. So. Oh, so we, that wasn't that far off of where we were to begin with, I don't think. There is an item over there. I need the stuff. This is absolutely going to attack us. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Oh, Sword Rain Alpha. Oh. Bombshell. Uh. Oh. Increased last shot. That's probably really good for her. Uh, increased Minair. We have 300. Don't think we can get... Yeah, we can't do that for a while. It gets really expensive. Could go and get Sonic Thrust, though. Eh, I'm gonna hold off for right now. I still got a ways to go. <sighs> oh, I guess that just. No, oh, I guess. Okay, so we were still going the right way. All right, that's cool. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, what? What is she on? Uh... I can feel my precision improving. I don't know what happened. We should happened. think about eating soon. Really? Not all that hungry myself. Don't make me say it again. Uh, yeah, good idea. We should worry about eating soon. Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. Excellent the Danans question. vastly outnumber the Renans. 
Yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So mean. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. True, true. I thought you were going behind us. That's in front of us. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now, come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... More skits. Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Now you've got me wondering, how'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Sus. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. 
Lucky indeed. Sus. She's being sus. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with a cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with. Ha-choo! Sneeze. Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. Oh, yes, the infamous oh, biting tongue. It sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? <laughs> Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. <sighs> Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. No, we probably would. Uh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? We done with uh are you just skits? Going to keep standing around or what? Yes, Sorry, we are. I'm just getting prepped over here. We are standing around. We are indeed. So, that's where we're going to end uh, the, this episode. Uh, I don't know when this is going to come out because, again, I I just really, really like playing this game. <laughs> it's real fun. It, I, I would recommend if you if you want a good RPG, I, I I would I would recommend. It's it's real fun. So, uh, but yeah, next week we uh, make it all the way back up, presumably. Uh, it looks like we've got a long ways to go. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's for next week. So I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.